This video is for educational purposes only, we do not encourage, nor condone any of these activities. Dark web vendors are merchants, who sell illicit goods and services in underground marketplaces, hosted on the dark web. While some are legit, many are scammers, so in today's video, we will give you 5 ways to identify legit vendors, so stay tuned. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, so you do not miss any of our new videos. Also, feel free to follow us on social media, links in the description box down below. Dark web vendors, and the marketplaces where they operate, take advantage of the encryption and anonymity provided by hidden darknets like the Onion Router, Tor, I2P, and ZeroNet to hide their illicit activities from law enforcement. They may also conduct transactions using cryptocurrency to make their earnings more difficult to trace. Every dark web vendor is different. Some are genuine programming or cybersecurity experts who make a fortune selling packaged malware to launch powerful cyber attacks against enterprise targets from secret production facilities around the world, or engage in fraud and cybercrime on a global scale. Other dark web vendors are simply low-level fraudsters, and opportunists selling things like phone verified PayPal. There are however a couple of things you need to be on the lookout for, to verify if a vendor is legit, and not a scammer. Number 1. Info Protection One way to avoid being scammed is to regularly go through your transactions, and see any unusual purchases. Don't use the same password for your email, online banking, PayPal, Amazon, eBay. Double check links when you log in, especially if it involves money or personal information. Number 2. Be cautious of new vendors. Newer vendors may not have established reputations yet, so it's harder to know if they're legitimate or not. If possible, try to stick with vendors who have been around for a while, and have good reviews. Number 3. Always extend auto-finalization. It gives an extra 14 days on delivery, and if time runs out, and you don't receive your item, You go straight to dispute, and will win 100% of the time, as they won't have tracking numbers, or proof of postage. Many scammers live off people forgetting, or not knowing about this extension option. If you don't extend, it settles the transaction, and the vendor receives their payment, they move on, and you lose your money. Number 4. Use escrow services. This will protect you in case the vendor tries to scam you, or doesn't deliver on their promise. Escrow services hold onto your money, until you confirm that you've received what you paid for, only then they release the funds. Number 5. Be aware of red flags. There are certain red flags, that should make you wary of doing business with a particular vendor. Some of these include no reviews, new accounts with few posts, anonymous accounts, promises that seem too good to be true. If you see any of these red flags, it's best to move on to another vendor. Always remember if something seems fishy, or too good to be true it probably is.